Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be doing a testing my subscribers' favorite makeup products, your favorite makeup products. So I asked you guys a few weeks ago on Twitter and Instagram to send me all of your favorites and I've compiled a bunch of screenshots and a bunch of new makeup, which I'm so excited about. Thank you all so much for sending me your faves. Please don't be offended if I don't mention yours. I tried to include products and go out and purchase products that I've never used before for the most part and things that I don't already have in my makeup collection just to make the video kind of like you know basically like I'm trying out new makeup so a lot of the things that you guys sent me I already have and I already love which is great because we have a lot in common but I wanted to go out and just get some new things and I also tried to include as many people as possible so I pulled a bunch of different things from different people so hopefully it is fun for you guys and enjoyable the original creator of this tag is Jamie Page Beauty I'll leave her channel down below love her and I love this idea so hopefully you guys do too if you guys want me to do like a part two or something let me know down below and I can totally do that as well because I got a lot of stuff and a lot of new things that I'm excited to try out so hope you like it don't forget to grab a snack and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already it'll be the first link down below and that's it let's just go ahead and get started all right, so I'm starting off with brows, as always, and the first brow product that I have is from Yezzy from Twitter. She says, the new Maybelline brow pencil that's pink. Hopefully this is it. I mean, this is more of a peachy color, but hopefully it is. So this is the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer in the shade Deep Brown. Just looks like this. I love brow definers, and if you guys have been watching me, you know that I really like the new Wet n Wild Brow Definer Pencil, and this one looks really, really nice. Has a really nice angled tip. I really like the formula. I like how it's creamy, but it's not too waxy and it's not too stiff on the brows either. This is good. I feel like that was super easy to do. I really like it. And it does come with the tiniest little spoolie on the end. I probably maybe could use this for like the inner part of my brows. Then for brow products, a lot of the brow products that you guys sent me, I've already tried. I've tried so many different brow products. Um, so I repurchased something that I really wasn't a fan of when I tried it a few months back in the summer. It is the e.l.f. Lock-On Liner and Brow Cream. I got this in the shade Medium Brown. I actually, I think I either threw it out or gave it away, my other brow cream from e.l.f. Um, because I just didn't like it. I felt like the formula was just way too waxy and like creamy and I just didn't like the way my brows looked. It kind of like matted them together. So I don't know. A lot of people were telling me to try this out. And that is what the color looks like. It looks a little light right now but if it is dark I can just go in with the brow pencil and fix it up so it's really not a big deal. My favorite brow brush is the e.l.f. angled brow brush. It doesn't even have a name this one because I use it so much. I literally use it every time I do my brows. So I'm just going to go ahead and basically fill in the rest of my brows oh no the color I think is gonna be actually really good so I pretty much just follow along with the natural shape and I just fill them in you can see the way that I outline them kind of gives me a nice framework for the rest of the brows and it makes it just really easy to fill them in okay I'm actually liking this product now seriously maybe I got a bad one because I swear like when I was using it before I just did not like the way that it made my brows look Okay, so Stephanie says the NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer. It lasts a pretty long time without creasing, and last time it lasted seven hours for her. So I was like, all right, sold. Just looks like that. I never really use primers like this. I used to use them when I first started makeup, but I usually just prime my lids with like my concealer that I use like to clean up my brows. So we'll see. I'm taking your word for it, girl. So it kind of reminds me of like the Urban Decay Primer Potion like type of look. Feels a little oily. I do like the way that it feels though. So many people were telling me to try out Juvia's Place palettes and I've been wanting to try her palettes for so long. I don't know why it took me so long, honestly. This is the Masquerade palette. I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh. Like these shadows are literally huge. It's probably like two single shadows in one put together. It's crazy. So I'm excited. You know I'm gonna gear towards these colors right here and I'm probably gonna do maybe like a pop of color on the lower lash line but these are just beautiful so what I'm gonna do actually really quick is just set my lid because oh actually no I'm not I was gonna say I can no I'm gonna just take this shade right up here and I'm gonna start blending that right into my crease and I'm gonna use a Morphe E27 
is so pigmented. Wow. I actually really liked that eyeshadow primer too. All right, I'm picking up this shade right up here, which is more of like a red tone brown. I love colors like this. Using a Morphe M511, and I'm picking up this shade right up here. It's more of like a red tone brown shade. I love colors like this. Picking that on all over my lid, fluffing it in there. The shades blend like instantly. It's crazy. With a very similar brush, also for Morphe, I want to make that maybe a little bit more brown. So I'm going to be taking this shade right up top. Kind of doing like the same thing. You just see it kind of like tones it down a little bit. Blending out those edges. I think I want to do like a halo look because I feel like I need a little pop. And I really want to use this gold in here, so I'm going to go with it. This one is in the shade Casablanca. It's like a really gorgeous gold. Let's just touch it. Oh, do you see how pretty that is? It's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I'm going to use this really tiny little domed brush from ColourPop. I'm going to dip my brush in here. And because I really want that metallic look, I'm going to take some Max Fix Plus, which I haven't used this in so long. I'm going to take that shade. Oh. That's pretty, and I'm going to just apply that right into the center. Creating that halo effect. You guys know me so well. Like, this is amazing. This is literally perfection. Okay, so Kaylin first told me that I should try the Essence Lash Princess, and then she said I mean lash extension. But this is the only mascara that they had from Essence at my Ulta, so this is what we're going with. It just looks like this. I've never tried any mascaras from Essence. I'm not a huge mascara person just because I wear falsies. Okay, the fact that this is actually showing up on my lashes, like, I know, I'm trying to, like, show you, because I know that my lashes are pretty short, but you can actually see the mascara on there. That's really impressive. All right, so Tasia, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. She says, you got to try Lily Lashes in Miami, so I picked these up. I've seen these everywhere, like, on Instagram, never tried it. You guys know I really don't spend a lot of money on my lashes, because I think the drugstore has great ones, but these are gorgeous. That is what they look like. They're, like, really fluffy and pretty. I don't know what happened to my tweezers so we're gonna have to improvise with our nails today and I am using my favorite lash glue from kiss you guys know the white one in the white tube it's amazing okay so Kiara actually sent me a picture of this makeup forever ultra HD skin booster that she loves but I also got another suggestion to use this NYX hydra touch primer so I'm gonna use one on one side and one the other because I couldn't decide and I wanted to use both so we're gonna go with it so I'm excited. I'm gonna start with the Makeup Forever one on my right side. I'm gonna put it on my skin. Ooh, it feels a little thick. Wait, did I even show you guys what it looks like? Oh my gosh, I'm a mess. This is what the Makeup Forever one looks like. It just comes like with a little dropper. Has like a weird smell to it. Super different. It's absorbing into my skin literally so nicely. I want to use more because that feels really good. It's not as oily as I thought it was going to be on the skin, which is good. It feels really good. I like how it kind of gives my skin a little bit of a glow, but my face doesn't feel oily, which is great. And then this is the NYX Hydra Touch Primer. Oh, they actually had two. Um, I just went with this one. They had like an oil-based one, but I'm, I just went with this one. I'm going to use this one on the other side. It has like a blue tint. Mmm, this smells really good. It smells like men's cologne. Oh my gosh, it seriously feels so good. Like, so cooling, refreshing. Love the smell. So, Tiffany says that she uses Max Fix Plus Setting Spray. I'm going to use this now to prep my skin as well, and then I have another spray to set my makeup in the end. I haven't used Fix Plus in literally years. There have been so many other sprays that have replaced my Fix Plus, and I kind of miss it. Oh my gosh, I forgot how good it smells. It has like just like this really nice scent that I love. Oh, I gotta pop my lashes on. Don't know what happened to my tweezers, so this is like a struggle right now. All right, so now moving into foundation now that the skin is prepped and the lashes are on. I got recommended to try out the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. Surprise, surprise, I've never used this before. I know it's such a popular foundation. I don't know why, honestly, I've never used it because I know it has mixed reviews, but I feel like a lot of makeup has mixed reviews. I don't know. I just never got around to it. So I don't know if this is going to match me. I got the shade Medium 54 Neutral. I know you guys know what this looks like. It's so different. The packaging, I actually really like it. So... 
let's do it let's go with it I'm gonna apply this with a brush I'm using my morphe m439 this is my favorite for foundation oh I think we got a good match this kind of smells like paint So we all know the claims of this foundation it's full coverage it's matte and a lot of people have said that this foundation is not natural like you can tell that you're wearing a lot of makeup when you wear this kind of a random tip whenever I'm searching for foundations online and I want to know like what color I could be I'll just type it into YouTube or Google images and usually I'll find somebody with the same color as me or like swatches on Google images on people's skin so you can see color so that's what I did in this case and the color matches me really really good so or really well wow this is definitely really full coverage which I personally love because especially now that I'm breaking out I will say that looking at my skin right now it does not look natural like you can tell that I have a lot of makeup on so this is definitely a heavy duty foundation. For concealer, I'm gonna be trying out the uh, Bare Minerals, is that what it is? Yes, the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. And I got this one in the shade Light. I really love the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation, so I think I'm gonna like this. Ooh, it feels really super creamy. So I'm blending this out with my LA Girl sponge. Do you see how quickly that blended in? I'm using an e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush just to blend in the inner corner of my eyes. You can still see a little bit of um, darkness peeking through underneath my eyes, so I would say this concealer is definitely like a medium coverage. It's really nice though. I love how it sinks into the skin instantly and just how it blends. Okay, I'm really going to press everything into my skin because again, that Kat Von D foundation is a no joke. It is intense. It's really nice though. It's really beautiful. It's just definitely on the heavier side. So if you don't like heavy foundations, you're probably not going to like that. And usually I don't, but I love the coverage. If I was wearing a more light coverage foundation, I would probably go in with more, a little bit more concealer. But I'm wearing, I feel like, a lot of product on my face and I don't want to have too much cakey makeup on. So I feel like I'm just going to leave it the way that it is and we'll be good. Alrighty, a lot of you guys told me to try out the number seven loose finishing powder. This brand, I don't know if it's every Ulta, but it's no longer sold at my Ulta. So I've never tried anything from them, sadly. So I had to order this on Amazon and they don't even sell this makeup brand at Target or anything. So had to order it online. I got this one in the shade Translucent Perfect Light Loose Powder. So hopefully this is gonna match me. brightens up and really sets the area but it's not like straight up white even though looking at the viewfinder my face looks really light but it doesn't look crazy and it's actually a really nice powder because it's not dry too I hate when powders feel dry wow okay so I'm really not having any fails right now okay I like it I like the formula formula <laughs> I like the formula of the powder and um, I can usually tell instantly honestly when I like powders just by the first time because like there's so many powders that I've tried that I just don't like that just feel really dry underneath the eyes and this one it literally feels so soft and I love the way that it looks because it's not crazy crazy white so we got some progress here we are we're doing good we're doing good so then to set the face so many of you guys were telling me to try out the MAC studio fix powder surprisingly I've never tried this before um, I know everybody loves it and I love the MAC mineralized skin finish I used to use that all the time but I've never used this one and I don't know if this color is gonna match me but we shall see but I also have this other powder that one of you guys sent me that I was like let me give it a try because why not Daria I hope that's how you pronounce it she says she absolutely loves the Maybelline better skin powder she said everybody sleeps on it so I'm gonna use this on one side of my face and they only had one shade when I went so I'm like of course so I'm gonna go very light-handed with this because you can see how light it is I'm gonna use this violet Voss brush and I'm gonna just set this side of my face very lightly 
oh yeah this is way too light but i can still make it work i'm gonna bronze the heck out of my skin i like even though it's so light it doesn't look really powdery on the skin i like it all right so then i'm gonna set the other side of my face and i think this powder is gonna be too dark i got this one in the shade c30 i'm using a wet and wild brush just to really press this in Oh wow, this looks like it's giving me more coverage and I think this is more so like a powder type of foundation. Oh yeah, this gave me like a little bit more coverage versus the Maybelline one, it's just a regular powder. Let me go ahead and set my brows because they're looking crazy. I'm using the NYX uh, Tinted Brow Mascara. So many of you guys also recommended this to me and I got this one in the shade Espresso. It has a really tiny little tip, which I appreciate. I really like that. The shade looks a little off, but hopefully it'll work. All right, hopping back into the eyes, I'm just gonna go ahead and just apply some shadows under there. I'm pretty much gonna use the same ones that I used earlier. Let's go in with this shade right in here, and I'm gonna apply that right on my lower lash line. With that blending brush, I'm gonna pick up the brown shades that I have in my crease, and I'm gonna smudge that out. Picking up this shade right here, I'm going to apply that to my brow bone. Alright, so now for bronzer, contour, blush, lips. So Shannon told me about the Pixie palette right here. This one is called the Strobe and Bronze Glow and bronze palette and I actually ordered this online on Pixie's website because Target didn't have it and Target online didn't have it so I had to order it directly on their site. Alright, I'm going to use my Morphe M527. I'm going to dip into this light shade. I'm going to mix it with the other one as well. Oh wow, it's actually not as dark as what I thought it was going to be, which I guess that's good. It's a very unique color. Okay, I'm gonna fix that. It's very different, the shade. It's kind of weird, honestly, the color. It's so not your typical bronzer. It's kind of like a camel color, like an eyeshadow color. Let's blend out that bronzer because that's looking cray cray. All right, so I didn't get like a whole lot of suggestions for blush. So since so many of you guys told me about Juvia's Place, I just went on there and I also ordered a blush palette. This is the Saharian Blush Volume 2. Look at this palette, you guys. Oh my gosh, is that not like just freaking amazing? I love it. So you already know what colors I'm going to go in with. This one right here. And I'm going to mix it with like this bronzy color and this pinky. So I'm going to just mix these shades. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, I have to go to class, you guys. <laughs> and my makeup is intense, but I like it. All right, so I have two different glows. I'm gonna use this one from Pixie because Shannon, you recommended it. So I'm gonna use that on one side of my face and then I'm gonna use J Cat Beauty highlighters on the other side of my face because uh, some of you guys told me about these as well, which I'm really excited about. I'm gonna use the gold and like the bronzy shade in here. I really like it actually, it's really pretty. I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade in the middle. Let's just mix all of them. You knew it was happening. I really like how it starts out light and then you can build it up to get it to be even more intense. So I'm gonna just take some Fix Plus and spray my brush because I want it to be a little bit more wet looking on the skin. It's really pretty, it's like a nice golden highlight which is nice. And the palette is very buildable so it's not gonna be really intense right off the bat but once you start playing with it, you can get it to be intense which I like. All right, so one of you guys, uh, Carlu, is that how you, is your name Carla? I should have looked, I just have all these screenshots and I don't know all the names because some of them are like screen names so I apologize but, so she recommended the J-Cat Beauty Highlight and this one is in the shade Moonlight. And another one of you guys also recommended the shade Twilight. So I'm going to mix the two. And she suggested for me to just scratch off the top a little bit because it makes it more intense and blinding. Moonlight is more of a gold champagne and Twilight is a little bit more bronze. So I don't know. I feel like this one's going to be a little bit too dark. So I think mixing the two is going to be perfect. And to apply on this side, I'm going to use my Anastasia A23 brush. I love this brush. All right, so I'm gonna scratch off the top a little bit just with my nail. Ooh, 
It's really pretty. It's actually very similar to the color in the Pixie palette because it's like that golden shade. I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Twilight now over top. This one is just more of a rose gold sort of like bronzy shade. I feel like this would be perfect when I'm a little bit darker because right now I'm pale as a ghost. I really love both of these highlights. They're so pretty. I love the goldy goldiness. <laughs> I love the gold undertones that they have to them. They're like my favorite types of highlighters to wear. I almost forgot these two products that one of you guys suggested that I actually purchased and I want to just, I'm going to use them again. They're so tiny and they got lost on the table of all my makeup. So the new Prismetal Chrome Eye Mousse from JCAT. Um, so Alexa says she got these last week. She's obsessed. She says they remind them of the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows, which I actually really like those. So I got two shades. They just look like that. They're really, really tiny tiny the packaging as you can see so the one shade that I got is in chrome galaxy and tricky jester so tricky jester is more of like that golden shade and the other one is more of like a rose gold so I'm gonna use this yellow one because I feel like it kind of goes with what I have going on here and I'm gonna just apply it oh it does feel like a color pop shadow like it has like that creamy moussey formula I'm gonna take this and literally with my finger just apply it here I'm so glad I remembered about these. Oh, it kind of reminds me of uh, Telepathy from ColourPop, which was like the collab that Kathleen Lights did. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. See how just like intense that is? That's crazy. Wow. Girl. These are amazing. I know I'm going to blend it out. I know it looks crazy right now. I want to use the other one because I think <laughs> I'm like just layering everything on top. I want to use like everything that you guys suggested and that totally changed the color. As you can see, it made it a little bit less yellow. Whatever, let's just go with it, right? There's no rules to make up. I'm like looking at my camera right now. This is unreal. I don't think that the camera is going to pick it up how beautiful these are. These are literally like wet, metallic, moussey eyeshadows. They are just so beautiful. Right now for lips. Um, oh, my camera's going to die. I got to hurry up. Okay. I've been talking so much. This is the Buxom Plump and Contour Lip Trio. And then I also have the Hard Candy Plumping Serum Gloss because I couldn't pick just one. So this Buxom Lip Trio, um, it comes with a lip liner, a bold gel lipstick, and a full-on lip cream. It comes with the lip liner first. As you can see, it's a really thick uh, lip liner. And the lip liner is in the shade Hush Hush. I literally suck at lining my lips, you guys. That's like one thing I'm not good at. Okay, I've actually tried the Buxom Full On Lip Cream, so I'm gonna just take the other product in here, which is the Bold Gel Lipstick, and this one is in the shade Naturally Daring. But, so this is like a mini little set. I've never tried this. I would wear a different lip color with this look. It's a little too like mauvey pinky right now. All right, and then I'm gonna apply this lip gloss over top. The one that she mentioned in here um, when she sent it to me on Instagram, they didn't have that shade called Sunbather or Suntan. I did see one like that, but they didn't have it. So I just went with this shade right here. Um, it's in the color Baby Doll. And this is a volumizing plumping lip gloss. Ooh, they smell so good. They smell like Vanilla cupcakes, ready. I don't know about lip plumping stuff. I don't really know, honestly, if it works because I don't feel like my lips are too small. Final thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and take my Scandinavia, the makeup finishing spray. And this one is the bridal one. I actually got this on Amazon um, and it was like 20 bucks. They have another one as well. I think it's like a matte one or something, but I just got this one because it had better reviews. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock my makeup into place. I've never tried Scandinavia. That's like my first time and that felt so good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put some earrings on, get my hair together, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back and I am so happy right now. This is definitely on my top favorite videos that I've done and I just love the fact that everything worked out for me. I don't really have any negative thing to say about anything that I've tried. Typically, this is a time where I would give you guys a rundown on the products, letting you know what I liked, what I didn't like, but honestly, I loved everything. And I know that I used a couple different products like on this side of my face and this side of my face, but I'm loving everything. I think you guys have really great recommendations. I'm so happy that you guys shared your favorites with me. Thank you so much because now I know these are going to be some of my new favorites and I just... 
I don't have anything bad to say. I love it. I know I said the lip color was a little pink, but I feel like with the lip gloss, it kind of looks way better now, and it kind of balanced itself out. The lip gloss is amazing. I like how it's a plumping gloss, but it's not super tingly on my lips. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. It's really minty, and I love it. Love the eye makeup. Love the face makeup. I mean... I'm like living for everything so thank you guys so much for all of your amazing recommendations I am just so happy right now I'll leave a pinned comment down below letting you know how this makeup wears throughout the day because I do have classes and stuff all day so I'll keep you posted but so far so good with everything thank you guys so much for everything I love you all and I'll see you in a few days in my next one bye